And one last brush I'm going to bring up is a very popular brush. That's the uh, Damien Standard brush. I have that assigned to my Alt D, but you can go uh, B D, and that and uh, S is Damien Standard. So here's the standard brush. I'm going to use that first. So if I dig in with my standard brush, you're going to see I can kind of dig in, and then I can kind of build out around that line. If I use my Damien Standard brush, and again, if you got your brush menu open, you can just hop back and forth between these brushes here. Um, if you use my Damien Standard brush, you can actually dig in, and it kind of digs out along the ridges too. You can kind of see it leaves a uh, kind of an indent, and then kind of bulges out just just slightly. And uh, people like using this for kind of building out surfaces and building in objects and plates and stuff. So certainly use that to your advantage. As well as if you hold down Alt, just like any other brush, you can um, let's go to the back here. You can hold down Alt, and you can build up a sharp surface and then underneath here you can not hold down alt and build in a really sharp surface and then if you want to you can actually use the clay brush or any of your brushes really you can kind of just kind of build up to that lip go ahead and redynamesh you can use your H polish to kind of you hold down alt to polish this to a nice sharp razor sharp edge here like so uh, and then you know what I'm actually gonna bump this resolution up quite a bit Redynamesh, smooth this a little bit, and then if I want to, I can go in with my trim dynamic with my stroke. Lazy mouse on, lazy radius up quite a bit, let's say 30, and then go ahead and just like bevel this edge if you want to. And then if you want to clean this beveled edge up, you can just go back in your H polish because it respects edges. And now you can go in and H polish the crap out of that surface here. And there you go. So very quickly be able to uh, build up, use Damien Standard to kind of define and refine your meshes. And when we get into concept, hard edge concept sculpting and popping these things off, uh, we'll get a little bit deeper into that. Now at this point, if you want to explore a little bit further, I would absolutely say hit B or go up here to your brush menu and just start playing with some of these. Some of them are going to be a little bit more complex, like the insert curve brushes. Um, but some of them like clay, clay build up, rake, you know, you just go and select them and just kind of use them and then hold down alt and use them and you can kind of see like you know feel what they make your brush size bigger and smaller change your z intensity so all of these things that we've learned so far you should be able to make pretty good judgments on how these how these different brushes work so definitely go in here and kind of mess around as well as those are your default uh, hit comma and then go into your brush area there's a ton of brushes in here so if you go into let's say the polish folder in here there's uh, M polish, so medium polish, polish soft, and then if you want to go up one, you can actually double click this one, or you can just hit brush again, and then I'll pop you back up to the brush tab. And if you go in here to the clay area, uh, you're gonna have a different, some uh, different clay brushes as well as stuff like clay finish. So now, finish brushes are kind of like polish, but um, you can double click those and you can kind of feel out, you know, how these finish brushes, and there's these, these to use flatten brushes way back in the day. Um, you can kind of get a feel for how these brushes kind of work. And hold down, all again, hold down all, change your Z intensity, all that good stuff to just kind of evaluate these brushes and see how you can use them in your workflow. And the very last thing we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna change, to talk about this, I'm gonna change my resolution back down to like 64, redynamesh, is the uh, smooth algorithm. Uh, by default, you're just gonna have a smooth brush. And there's lots of smooth brushes you can use, there's lots of smooth settings you can use, but by default, you'll have the smooth brush and there's actually two smooth algorithms and they both work a little bit differently so when you're ever working on a mesh and you find that one smooth algorithm is a is kind of leading to some pinching or some really weird artifacts on your mesh try the other smooth algorithm how you access those is with the smooth brush if you hold down shift and you tap your object it'll use the first algorithm if you hold down shift tap your object and then let go of shift it'll use the second algorithm. So you can kind of go back and forth between those two and see which one works for you. Some people exclusively use uh, the second algorithm. Uh, I tend to use the first one until I run into a problem area where I see that it's leaving some really weird artifacts and stuff. I'm not really getting much here, but um, as, as we progress in the course and stuff, and if I see that being the case, I'll definitely use the second algorithm to kind of um, do that. But just FYI, Hold down shift to smooth something, and then hold down shift, tap, and then let go of shift to use the second smoothing algorithm.